James 3, New International Version, Taming the Tongue. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect and able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships for an example. Although they are large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider this. When a forest is set on fire by a small spark, the tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison with the tongue we praise our lord and father and with it we curse human beings who have been made in god's likeness out of the same mouth come praise and cursing my brothers and sisters this should not be can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring my brothers and sisters can a fig tree bear olives or better yet a grapevine bear figs Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Two kinds of wisdom. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter, envy, selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven but is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. James 3. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. And also may his word be planted and grow in your hearts. I want to thank all of you for supporting this reading of the word of God and getting it out to the world. Thank you to those who have subscribed and for your support. And for those who haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Your support means a lot to us and we could use everyone's support to help get God's word out to the world. Also, please share this word with others so the seeds of God's word can be planted in their hearts also. And to everyone, please pray for us as we continue to read the Bible and add video to his word. May it glorify and magnify his holy, magnificent name. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you all. Blessing.